and push your bottom back. Hands and knees and push your bottom back. So what I'm trying to do is add in a layer that we can all achieve. Level one, good. And this is a great stretch for the back. It's also a really good arm and shoulder strengthening. So the shoulder is over the wrist, the hip is over the knee, good. So this time I'm gonna come up onto my hands and knees, curl my toes, and lift my knees. Nothing else changes. Drop to the knees, relax the toes, bum goes back. Hands and knees, or toes, lift the knees. Good. Knees drop, bum pushes back. Three more of those. Hands and knees, toes, lift the knees. Knees drop, so don't rush it. You're using your own body weight, which is my favorite thing, to strengthen your muscles, your arms, your back, your upper back, and all the way down through the spine, okay? And you know that when I give you a compliment like that, it means <laughs> that we've got a harder level. So this is your third level, lifting the knees off the floor, bend the knees, chest to thighs, and then zoom forward, thread top of the crown to the, to the wall. Bend the knees, I'll cut my knees off the floor. And then go long, four more of those. So level one was hands and knees, and then pose of a child. Level two was plank like this, and then knees drop, pose of a child. And this is crazy level three. This is all on your toes. Two more. And go long. And one more. And go long. Good, so drop to the knees. Push your bum back, rotate through the wrists. Take both hands to the edge of the mat and push your bum away. Come through the middle and over to the other side. Great work. Really good. Maybe a couple of stretches for the spine. So on your hands and knees, tuck the head under and push the chest forward and tuck the head under and push forward. I'd like you to come up onto your knees facing me. So you might need your towel underneath your knees and take this hand behind your head. Take this hand, palm forward above you. Yeah, good, nice and easy. Palm up, that's it. So just check the shoulder is happy. Now lift the arm and drop the elbow. Oh, and center. <laughs> so the arm goes directly up and your elbow drops towards your waist and center. Figure of speech, elbow to waist, but you know what I mean. Add in eye gaze, look up. Oh couple more. So this is, we're escalating, we're not escalating, we're making it more complex. And the next level of complexity is straightening this leg. The toes face forward, the leg is straight. Good. And then you do five of these, looking up, the work in your waist will be with you for days. You're welcome. Two more. Look up, Fabulous. The little pièce de résistance, that final level, the hand that's behind your head, comes onto your mat. Good. And your hand is directly above you. Could you, would you lift your leg? Don't have to. And lower. Lift your leg. Five. And lower. So you need to squeeze on the bum. Four. You need to push those hips forward. Three. Two. And there's your last one. Recover. Pose of a child. Rotate through the wrists. Climb up when you're ready. This hand behind your head. This palm faces forward and lift. Start easy. Start with the hand going directly above your shoulder. Nothing in your body moves. 
you're gripping with your bum, you're tightening with your tummy. Now take the arm up and drop the elbow to the waist and center. Four more. Start to layer in the eye gaze. Look up at the sky, look up at your fingers. Be really bold with your hand, really fully. Spread those fingers. Let's get some work in even to the fingers. Good, if that's working over, okay. Extend this leg, toes facing forward, the leg is straight. Give me five of those. So the arm is not going over the ear, it's going right up to the sky. It's almost like a counterbalance. Squeeze your bum, I appreciate. This might trigger sciatic issues in some clients, so bring your knees back to the floor. Not a problem, because the final level hand behind the head to the mat would you could you lift your leg and lower five of those eye gaze up or forward or down depending on your neck so really squeeze the bum so that you feel in line and both hips face forward when you're done rest how good was that and wait One or two, you decide. Option. Have this hand behind your head. Turn the palm in and lift it above your shoulder. Or to make it more intense, turn your palm forward. Okay, so just take that measure. Squeeze your bum, tighten your tummy so you feel strong. Hand up, elbow drops, everything centers. Four more, look up, center. So you're slow, you're controlled. Three, you're really focusing intently. Two, on your waist. One, extend the leg if you want. Toes face forward, squeeze the bum, off you go. Five. Good, straight up, four, well done, good, three, good negotiations and good adaptation, superb, two, and here's your finale, take the hand from behind your head to the floor, decide, palm forward or hand down, lift the leg and lower the leg and the arm, lift, five, straight arm underneath you, Four, eyes up, eyes forward, or eyes down. Last two. Straight line. Last one. Recover. Hand weights to the floor. Rotate the wrists. And we're ready to do that on the other side. So this hand behind your head. Palm forward. Good, if you're comfortable, or palm turns in that's a little bit more natural for the shoulder taking the palm forward is going to make you work harder it's up to you so now lift the arm drop the elbow oh, hard than it looks four more drop so we kind of did this last week in a standing posture it's really good for loading the back we like doing that, don't get scared of it. We like putting weight and load through the muscle and through the bones. It helps with osteoporosis. Take the leg to the side. And if it doesn't add value, you don't have to do it, but I'm really squeezing my glutes to keep my hips pushed forward rather than letting my bum push back. Okay, so give me a couple more. Nicely done. Now take the hand behind your head to the mat. Lift the arm if it works and lift the leg. Put the pressure on the bum and decide what you want to do. Five and lower. Four and lower. Eye gaze up, eye gaze forward or eye gaze down. Couple more. High arm, high leg. Can you see the lines? Hands in line with each other foot in line with the crown of your head. 
and you're done. Come into the pose of the child. Epic work. <sighs> Big round of applause. Roll the shoulders. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it up today. Mix it up. I'm gonna put the towel at the other end of the mat and take a seat. Feet out in front, hands under your knees. Nice stretch for the back. Or take the hands to the forearms. Or take your arms to your elbows. Now I struggle with that, arms to elbows. I was in a class last night and one beautiful young lady managed to get her hand to her shoulder. I kid you not. <laughs> so that's what we're working on. Hand under your body to your shoulder. <laughs> Maybe next week. Take the hands under your knees. You know who you are, Arabelle. You look amazing. Hands underneath knees. Pull the belly in and roll back. Level one. And climb up. And again, pull the belly in. And climb up. Mobility for the lower back. Good work. Nicely done, add in, straight arms, palms turn in, yeah. Pull the belly in and climb up. Take a breather if you want, take a breather at the top or carry on, we're only gonna do set parts of five. So I'm trusting that you can do that. One of the things that will pop up are your thighs and your hip flexors because they are much stronger generally than your tummy. Maybe not you, because you do Pilates so often. But work to release the hips. That means stop and shake out, grand. Then relax, have some water. And this time I'm going to add in. So palms turn in, roll back. Take the elbow behind you and look at it. And then sweep up. And take the other elbow behind you and sweep up. Four more, elbow and sweep up. Elbow and sweep up. Good, good, good roll, good flow. And if the hips are tightening up, take a moment, shake out the legs, maybe straighten the legs, would that work for you? Good. One last one. All the way back, as far back as you can, and the other arms in front. Now take a breather. So whatever it is you need, is it hands behind, chest opening? Could you do a crazy lift? So hands behind, level one. Lift your bum, I haven't done this for ages, all the way up. Am I leaving my bum behind? <laughs> Try and lift your bum so it lines up with your knees. I've got no chance. Good, well done. So that's a bit of a hip flexor and it's a bit of a shoulder opening. Not for everyone. But now we're going to do that whole exercise with hand weights. Cinema voice. Hands forward, palms in, roll back. We'll do five. Breathe out, roll up. Palms turn in, hands in line with shoulders, four, roll up. We can do this, we're together. We're only doing five, three to go. Good, two to go, go deeper, go lower, grip with your tummy, feel your power. One more, grip with your tummy. Good, take a moment, whatever that is, hands behind, open up your back, open up the shoulders. You find the stretch that works for you, recover. And the next level was both arms forward, roll back, take the elbow and look at it, five. Take the elbow, use your breathing, four more. Elbow, other side, three more. Stay with me. Last two. Rotation for the waist, strength of the arms, 
and putting pressure low through the back, which helps to keep our spine strong. One more. Other side. Okay, rest. Take the legs and cross the right ankle over the left. Walk down your legs or take the foot, the right foot above the left knee. Let the knee drop. How's that? How about the straight foot, straight leg, coming to the floor? How's that? You're listening to your hip. Could you bring the foot in closer? Could you press your hands into the floor and walk your bum to your heel and drop it? Drop your bum. So don't be in the air. Drop the bum. Oh my word. Now look at your attractive big toe. Yes, give it a wiggle. Bring your nose to your attractive big toe. <laughs> nose. Again, I had a client last night who actually did that. Nose and big toe. Nose and big toe. That's why I've got socks on because my toes are not attractive. Step back and release in your own time. We have levels. Left ankle over right, level one. Left foot above the right knee was level two. Find your way, maybe bring the foot to the floor. Again, there's more levels. The foot further away is easier. The foot closer, considerably harder. The bum in the air and walking your bum to your heel, considerably more intense. Find your big toe, impossible. <laughs> So you do you, hang out for a few seconds. This is a great piriformis stretch. And then lie down. So release the legs. Oh, it takes me a while to get out of this. Hand weights by your side. Lie down on your back. Bring your knees into your chest. You've got your towel ready for you. And take one leg into the air and the other foot on the floor, hold the back of the thigh. Then bring both knees in and hug them. And take the other leg into the air, hold the back of the thigh and bring both knees in. Leg up, hand behind, both knees in. So this starts, as always, beautifully. It has flow, it has breath, it has length through the back of your legs and flexing your feet, push your heel up. Good, let's make it more challenging. Both legs are straight. Hug, one leg to the sky, one leg skims the floor. Hold the back of your thigh and breathe out. Amazing. So this is about your hamstrings the back of your legs. It's also about your calves. It's also about your Achilles, the back of your heels. Good. It's also about your tummy. Hmm? Keep your ribs down, Adele, and pull your tummy in. And if you're unsure it's about your tummy, put your hands to the floor and you'll soon find it's about your tummy. <laughs> so your back will try and arch. It's natural. It will try and lift off the floor. Your job is not to let that happen by pulling your belly in tightly. Pull the belly in and you are working the corset muscle, the deep abdominal. Raise the head, let the fingers touch behind the thigh, knees in, and you're now working the closest muscle to the skin, the rippling six pack. So six pack and corset muscle are knitting together. You're pulling the belly in and you're locking down the six pack. Yes, that makes it worth doing, doesn't it? Three more, reach, breathe in, reach. Touch the fingers, yes, behind the back of the thigh and this You've got to have good hamstrings to do this. You've got to be able to reach high enough. If your hamstrings are bad, you can't even do it. It doesn't work. Last one. 
Good, and because it's hand weight week, pick them up. Let's try it. So, I'm gonna show you with one hand weight. Take the leg up. I'm gonna keep the foot on the floor just to, to show you. You're gonna pass the baton and then lower. And the other leg, pass the baton and lower. If you want it stronger, both legs, pass the baton, knees in. Both legs, pass the baton, knees in. Both hand weights, we've got symbols. Lift, crash, release. Five of these, lift, crash, and release. Four more, lift, lift. Three more, together. Raise the head, crash those symbols or hand weights. Lift. Last two. Other side. And last one. And the other side. Put the hand weights down. They are done. Hands on knees. I've got one last exercise. And it's an exercise that incorporates a full body stretch. I thought about it, see? <laughs> Legs to the sky, point the toes, and then hug the knees. Point the toes. Now we're doing the front of the body, anterior. Point your toes, stretch into the feet and hug. Take the legs lower. Oh, it's about the tummy again. But it's a full body stretch, so stretch your thighs. Now take the arms. Don't go too low with the legs, arms above you and stretch and then hug, arms above you. I'm not gonna use hand weights, I'm using this for a stretch. So the higher your legs go towards the ceiling, the safer it is for your back. If you're gonna bring your legs as low as me, you need to grip with your tummy, pull the belly in. Now finally, raise the head and hug your knees to nose. Five of these and we're finished, okay? Lengthen and lift. Lengthen and lift. Three more, give it your best effort. Lengthen and lift. Two more. Lengthen. And last one. Now take that full body stretch onto the floor. So foot down, lengthen the legs one at a time on the floor. Take the hands above you, yawn. Unwind, set yourself up for an amazing day. Yeah, hold the wrist, push the heel away. I can't help but yawn. I don't even know why. And then drop. You don't really need the sound effects, do you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold the wrist. Push the heel away. Oh, oh you are fully racked. <laughs> you are fully stretched. Feet on the floor. Turn onto your right side. Push yourself up. Sit comfortably for the first time this morning. <laughs> and find your zen. We've cleansed our aura, we've worked our muscles, we feel in tune with our body, and more importantly, our breath. We breathe in, we feel the ribs lift, and we breathe out, and we soften. So I wonder if you can create a happy visual, something that just raises your vibration, something that gives you a little bit of feeling of love and colour, something or someone, and make that visual come alive. So we've re reprogrammed our body this morning, now do it for our mind. Think of something happy. Give it context, give it imagery, the more detail the better. Now breathe it in, make it yours, lift your arms, make it real by bringing the hands together, bring your thumbs to your forehead, to your lips and to your heart.
Namaste. <laughs> Take care. Love you lots. Woo!